out here in the woods you know just enjoying myself sitting here along the river and you know so just want to talk about something real fast and that is uh just enjoyment being present in the moment and the hustle and bustle of today's society you know we get so locked into our phones into our apps our social media you know the constant dinging of some electronic device and you know sometimes you just got to turn that crap off and unplug your brain and just get outside and do something awesome as i say I had a subpar day of fishing but you know that crap's gonna happen and honestly you got to be prepared for it you've got to really use that as fuel on those days that you do have those great days to just remember how blessed you are to have those good days and honestly i woke up this morning and i had a feeling that it was going to be tough um, we've had some cold days some colder nights but that doesn't mean it can't be rewarding you know i'm out here and i'd be honest guys i'm basically been by myself made it into a little bit of an adventure here because uh took some off the beaten path routes to get around get to some new areas and just explore and you know probably a lot of people are like oh you're getting all philosophical and all this bull crap but the reason why is because if there's even one person out there that hears this and decides to get up off the couch and go for an adventure today then I consider that this video is a success because oftentimes we make so many daggone excuses when I woke up this morning I knew we had some crazy winds last night we had some rain not as much rain as I thought we were gonna have it's been really cool and we've really not had a lot of sunshine I really knew that today was probably gonna be subpar but you gotta get that negative self-talk out of your head and you gotta get outside and do something uh, because your brain will give you a million reasons to not do something but you've got to start reprogramming yourself to give yourself a million reasons to do something and I just kind of want to share something that I've been doing that has had a profound impact on the way that I have really been living my life um, for the past month or so and that is journaling and I have never been a big journaling person um, I've always thought it was a bunch of hoopla I hated whenever they would make us journal in school I'm like what the heck do I write about like this is ridiculous but I've been asking myself some key questions recently whenever I journal one is what excited me so during a day even just a normal day i write down what excited me so honestly like if i were to do that today what excited me today was getting out here and fishing but really just exploring and kind of embracing that inner kid and getting out here and exploring like new places and hiking and you know getting you know my adrenals flowing all that stuff out here hiking getting the, the body moving and exploring <laughs> the second journaling question that I've been doing every day is what drained me and I will tell you that I have found a lot of times it is the news or my phone is that common answer that I've been saying um, whether that's and when I just say my phone that's social media that's everything and when you see that written down on paper and you see it every day it really opens your eyes when it's written down on paper staring you in the face when that's staring you in the face there's no denying it and so I try to make some changes and really disconnect from my phone more um, I still try to use it mainly as a tool instead of letting it use me um, because when you realize it guys like a lot of these social media organizations they are vying for your attention they your attention is worth money and that's why these social media platforms make so much money because they 
advertise and they know where your weaknesses are when it comes to your attention so just never forget that um, they know how to hook you into wanting to look at that device and when you get a notification and you want to immediately pull up your device and see what that was like it's it's honestly a sickness and finally the last one that I will say that has had a profound impact on how I spend my day is how can I be 1% better today what can I do what can I learn what can I can I exercise more can I do something different can I try harder at work can I try harder with my kids can I do something different because when you break it down like that and you say 1%, 1% doesn't seem like a lot. And often our lofty goals will become so big that we just give up on them and we just fold on ourselves and say, oh, you know what, I'm not going to do that today um, because, you know what, that's just too hard. Or, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to run that extra mile today because it's just cold outside and it's those freaking excuses that get in the way of your life and at the end of the day none of us are promised tomorrow and i have really been trying to embody that every day and just live like there could possibly be no tomorrow and as morbid as it is i could literally go get in my car right now and probably the most dangerous thing we do every day is drive i could drive and get in a wreck and die and maybe this video would be the last thing that's left of me that's interesting to think about so it's just like this morning i had the choice to stay home but you know what if today is my last day on earth my last day living i can't think of any other way than to spend it to, as connecting with nature and enjoying nature even though I didn't catch any fish but hopefully this helps at least one of you guys out there um, and just getting that motivation to get outside and do something awesome and as always guys I appreciate every one of you all I know this video is quite different from the majority of the content on my channel but whenever I think about this channel and I think about my content I always wanted to have a positive impact on the people that I come in contact with so hopefully this has a positive impact on you and your day. And as always, get outside, do something awesome, take somebody with you, get a chance, and I'll see you in the next one.